The modern NHL ice rink is a marvel of technology. If you've ever had to skate in a barn or on a pond, the ice in the big leagues is something to marvel at. It's clean, it's pure, it's flat. But probably one thing you didn't know about it is that they actually use hot water when they freeze it. Yes, you heard that correctly. And I'm about to tell you why that is. The first artificially made rink was built by a man named John Gamgee in London in the year 1876 and called it the Glacerium. In Spanish, it would be La Glacerium. He laid down a system of pipes above concrete and earth and then ran a mixture of glycerin, nitrogen, and water through them. Then he flooded those pipes with water and it froze, the pipes visible from the surface. Amazing that in 1876, they could make indoor artificial ice but didn't know how to stop widespread cholera priorities though. The rink was largely successful and set in motion the domino of events that led to the formation of the NHL in 1917. There had been indoor rinks before like the Victoria rink in Canada, but by 1917 all of the rinks in the NHL used mechanized ice. Side fact, Matthews Arena in Boston opened in 1910 and is the oldest original rink still in use. Before I explain why the rinks freeze hot water versus cold, let's understand how the modern indoor ice rink works. Basically, every rink you see uses a foundation of high quality concrete that has miles, five total, of tubing embedded inside it. A large refrigeration plant essentially cools liquid glycol, basically antifreeze. That subfreezing liquid is then circulated through the pipes and the concrete gets cold enough to freeze water. This process is extremely expensive and I had the idea of making a mini desktop ice rink for my son and let's just say once I consulted my HVAC guy regarding refrigeration, he kind of laughed and said, yeah, no but a mini rink would have been pretty badass. So once the glycol is circulating and the concrete is cold, the rink masters need to fill a 17,000 square foot area with one inch thick of ice. First, an initial layer about 1 30th of an inch thick is put down by a paint truck with a fine mist nozzle. It usually freezes instantly. Another thin layer is added and this layer is actually painted white. The nice white color you see on the ice is actually artificial. In older times, they used to use pale blue, like in 1994 apparently. This layer is sealed with one more thin layer and then the logos and paintings are painted directly onto the ice with a nice paintbrush. Pretty cool job if you ask me. This leaves us about three quarters of an inch to build up in the final surface using a hose essentially. But now let's talk about the temperature of the water being used. For the first three layers, 160 degree water is used. That's only 60 degrees below boiling and more than twice that of room temperature. That's pretty hot water. But why on earth would they freeze hot water? That makes no sense. Well, according to rink experts, the hot water freezes faster and creates a tight bond to the concrete. It also freezes cleaner than cold water. However, after the first three layers, they switch to cold water and go over the markings and the paintings. Why? The hot water would actually melt the paint and nobody wants to see that happen. So the three quarter inch main layer is actually done with cold water but the surface is once again sealed with hot water and throughout the season the Zamboni lays down hot water too. Why? Because they say it freezes faster and it also helps smooth the surface. But let's look at why the hot water freezes faster and the actual physics behind it. Have you seen those videos where dudes throw boiling hot water into the freezing cold air and it instantly freezes? Well yes, that's the visual evidence of the phenomenon, but again, why the freak does this happen? What you're seeing in these videos and what is theorized to be happening on the ice is something called the Memba effect, named after Tasmanian high school teacher Erasto Memba who had observed that some hot water he had placed in the freezer froze faster when making some ice cream. People laughed at him for saying this, and him and another instructor conducted some experiments to see if hot water did indeed freeze faster. They found that this was the case and published their results in 1969. Many people, including well-known scientists, found the notion that hot water freezing faster is absurd. In fact, in 2016, two guys named Burridge and Linden tried to reproduce the results and couldn't and concluded there was no evidence of the Memba effect. Jeez, you would think the scientist's time would be better spent mixing up 96% pure meth. What's funny is you could probably start a pretty big nerd argument about what freezes faster, hot or cold water. And just like any internet argument after some seriously childish insults and threats, there will be no winner. Additionally, just because Memba observed this in his work doesn't mean he could explain it. So sadly, there is not much concrete evidence other than theory as to why hot water freezes faster 
and as to why throwing hot as freak water into the air produces such an awesome effect. The best explanation I think is that in hot water, the mass of the water is reduced because of evaporation and that it makes it easier to freeze. Everything from convection being easier, less solvent gases in hot water, frost acting like an insulator, hydrogen bonds being weaker, it all adds up, but like, isn't exactly clear. But back to the ice rink, where they use hot water for reasons I described before. They say it freezes faster, they say it makes a stronger bond, they have been making ice for 140 years, they know what they are doing. Also one factor that you should know, and I saved this for last, what they are using on the surface isn't exactly regular water. It's been treated and filtered for ideal freezing and purity. It's definitely not tap water. So that probably plays into the physics. So by now, you're either in the hot water freezes faster camp or the cold water freezes faster camp and you're ready to fire up your argumentative keyboard. For the record, I am team hot water. And if you want to debate me, let's fight. I'm kidding. But seriously, I am in firm belief that hot water does freeze faster. And if you want to argue, put some water in the fridge and grab a freaking watch. As I mentioned earlier, I want to thank FanDuel for sponsoring this video. You might not have known this, but in addition to football, you can do fantasy hockey as well on FanDuel and set lineups daily and start winning real money. Like I have said before, the season-long grind of an 82-game season is pretty tedious and usually I'm out of it by November, so FanDuel gives me the opportunity to play whenever I want and win as much money as I like to. So download the FanDuel app from the link below and enter in the code TOUCHDOWN87, that's code TOUCHDOWN87, and not only be able to play fantasy hockey and win real money, but also when you put in your first deposit, you get a free entry into the Sunday Millions contest where you can win crazy dough. Also, don't forget to check your eligibility before you play, but seriously download the app and enter in my code TOUCHDOWN87. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to the end of this video. And screw you if you think cold water freezes faster.